How long have you been out of treatment? Um, when did we end again? We in August. In August, yeah. Yeah. In August. All right. Um. So that was August last year. Last year. Yep. Time flies. And so it's almost a year. Yeah. I guess you wanted to pop in. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> Mr. Bennett. Yeah. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You're good. Hey, you guys look great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, tell me a fish story real quick. <laughs> I don't have them. I can't fish right now. No? No, I can't. Why is that? Well, um, one, I don't have a fishing pole because oh, my husband you bet. Has my, Yeah, and two, I don't know where to buy bait, so. Well, and they've closed places. Like, you can't go in where there's fishing places because of the quarantine. They're really strict here. You can have to dig for some or earthworms. Yeah. You have to get a little toothpick and some dental floss and some goldfish and just, you know. <laughs> Do a little jigging in the goldfish bowl or something. Something, you know? Yes. That's too bad. Amy, you doing well? Uh, Bennett reached out to me a little bit ago, said that you were having some stuff. Yeah, yeah, doing better. I'm not always sure. Just some tingling stuff, so I don't know what that's about. But it's not every day, so I think it's... You get on that PRS and use yeah. that often? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have been doing that, so... Very that thankful for that. A little bit. Yeah. Do you have a splitter for that too? We tried to find one on our like our like a uh, local like almost like Amazon here, but they don't really have them. That like the it doesn't fit into the PRS uh, wires or whatever. Well, you bought them. I think Joel bought them there, but they were really little. They they weren't. They're really little, and it didn't fit into the wire enough to be able to. And work with the I'll reach out to you on Facebook and, and send you some links and uh, see what you can find there. Okay. Perfect. But, man, you look taller. Yeah, so grown up. You look so old. Stand next to your mom real quick. Yes. It's about an inch away. That's it. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Man. That's a good three or four inches since, huh? Yeah, he'll be, he's 13, he'll be 14 in, all, in September. So, I'm a teenager. Feeling yeah. strong though, kid? Yeah, for sure. Good. Yeah, I've been kind of playing soccer in my yard recently, just kind of trying to stay fit and working out every other day. And so, um, Workouts yeah. with your dad? Uh, no, he does separate stuff because I can't keep up with him. <laughs> <laughs> Just CrossFit. <laughs> he works hard. Any PRPS issues? No, not at all. No? Nah, full remission? Yeah. Have you had any injuries, Bennett? Mm -hmm. Um, ye I've, like, scraped my knees terribly before, after CRPS, and nothing like it was just a regular scrape of the knee it healed very fast it was totally fine I didn't, I wasn't even scared about it because I'd hurt myself just bumped myself before and never really had any problems with it so yeah it's really good all those Bryce workouts came in handy yeah yeah you survived the dungeon in there you can put yourself through anything out there <laughs> yeah yep. yeah these pull-ups and all kinds of stuff strong so you guys majorly uprooted your lives coming here from thailand for all that time and staying i forget how many weeks you were here bryce do you remember uh, 14, 15, 14 15 something like yeah, that yeah you stayed a bit longer uh any regrets looking back nope not a one any words of wisdom for other moms and kids sorry bennett what did you say it's fine. I just, the only regret is not coming here first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have liked to have met you right at the start, but I mean, all is well that ends well, right? Yeah. 
All right, Bennett, any other words of wisdom for any other kids who see RPS watching this? Um, that there are times where it feels like there's not hope and there's not a way to get out of things and there's and it feels like you're constantly going to be stuck in the same place and not able to get out of this terrible like situation that you're in and you don't know how to you don't know how to function you can't be with your friends because you're always in so much pain and I just would encourage kids that have COPS to to really lean into lean into God in that situation just to help with him being able to guide you through things that you normally aren't able to do on your own because that's not something that we're supposed to do on our own. We're supposed to lean into Jesus and we're supposed to trust him that he's going to take care of us and that it's all in his plan. And I'm so grateful to my parents who encouraged me to do that and um, did it with me. We do communion and just praising Jesus through all of it. And then once um, when I was remiss, it was so much more of like a like, man, like, Jesus did this, like, he is the one who brought me all this way to learn all these different things that encourage me to keep going and to not give up whenever things get hard, so, yeah. <laughs> it was so good to see you guys, you're always in our hearts, thank you for giving hope to others and doing this. You're welcome, thank you too. Yeah, just love you guys. Bye. I'll, I'll send you that info, Ben. All right. I'll All stay right. in touch. All right. All right. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye.